Hey everybody, welcome to... That's right, grab by the ghoulies. Alright, now, I've done this on a live stream a few times. As you can probably see here, this is my um, stream file. This was my um, main practice file. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, and... Well... We're gonna get things started. This is only naming the um, actual game itself. They're n we're not naming any characters or anything kind of like that. Oh, <laughs> ready to go. Great omen. Great omen, isn't it? Main reason I deleted my previous file because you can't have two save files with the same name, which is really, really dumb in my opinion. But oh well, that's just that's just some minor thing. It's, it really is a great this really is a great game, which is why I chose to let's play it. <laughs> anyway, there's my name for y'all. Let's get started. Grad by the Ghoulies. I'm sure we should. I'm sure we should have taken a right back there. Now we're lost, and there's a storm coming. We need to find some shelter and fast. How about an old house? This guy. <laughs> That's right, my pretties. Come on in and say hello. No way. Let's carry on and try to make it to the next village. Places like this are always full of creeps. Or worse. Me? A creep? My goal? How dare you! I do believe a lesson in manners is required here. Yeah? <laughs> Who would have seen that coming? I can't hear his offer. Excellent! Do you new additions to my collection? I must make arrangements to make sure they're most unwelcome. Unwelcome? That would mean you what, don't want them around. Uh, if you want to make them unwelcome, why do you want them in your mansion to begin with? Uh, oh well. Brambles block the door. <clears throat> What's all this noise? I'm trying to to sleep, and who turned the lights out? The coolies leave me alone. Mm. 
Why does the door has eyes and everything? I suggest, sir, use a left thumbstick to move and hold the right thumbstick. Directly he wishes to attack. Yep, we might as well learn how to attack attack here because we got our first enemy, imps. These guys, honestly, they're jokes. Just one kick to the face enough to do them in. These guys are no threat whatsoever. Well done, sir. You certainly seem to have a very capable battling. Unarmed, okay. I thought that said mermaid for a second. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, make fun of my inability to read. In addition to your fists, you may use certain items of furniture and other objects as weapons. That means we're bringing the chair to the wrestling mat. <laughs> hey, there's suddenly a chair here. How convenient. That's basically the main thing in this game here. Is like as we progress through the mansions, each rooms here will be will have a challenge in here. This one specifically is going to be all the ghoulies to advance. Which um, I got kind of mixed feelings about the whole um, to be all enemies to advance thing, and that's very common in this game. That's Honestly, uh, yeah, that's just something to get used to. And these right here. There's one in each um, scene. Not one in each room, one in each scene. As there's a ton of scenes through, the, I guess. These are bonus books. If you collect five of these, you'll be able to um, unlock new bonus challenge. Oh. Which is something we'll be going, out for, we'll be going over... After the main series, of course, in a bonus video, but it's got to Zio Pella. Splendid, sir, you did it. Now you may leave through this door and begin your the search for your friend. Cremins is my name, and I am the lonely butler here at Goldhaven Hall. May I have the pleasure of making sir's acquaintance? Name's Cooper. Pleased to meet you, sir. I shall pop up from time to time, should you need any help. Let me remove the chair for now. Oh, I forgot to say, so I may discard weapons by pressing the B button. And he is, so is carrying or carrying one weapon, but rather use another. Honestly, why would you? It's, honestly, I think way better to just fight with a weapon than you have. Let me also give you this map. It will show, show Sarah's whereabouts and at times points of interest. You may access it from the pause menu, which is actually a pretty useless map, to be honest, as you travel through the mansion every way except for the required path will be blocked off so the what's the point of having the map in the first place I don't understand but I guess I might as well show it off this is basically what the map will show you just the whole layout of the where we happen to be. Well, like I said, the only place that'll ever be open is a required path anyway, so I don't get the point. You can patch up in very various breakables and whatnot. Sometimes you can find stuff in them, I guess. But there's gonna be nothing in them for now, so we're just gonna ignore them. Chapter 1 
the rescue. As we travel through this hall, we've got various... <laughs> Thanks! Katsuks! So has suffered from a super scary shock and successfully overcome it. Oh, but it doesn't happen again. Shut up! Shut up, Cribbins! You are tempting fate. I was about to segue into that. Apparently, there are going to be super scary shocks like this. And a sequence, will, a sequence of buttons will appear. You gotta press those buttons in the exact sequence in order to overcome the super scary shock. Otherwise, it'll deal 10 hearts of damage. I love how that M just flew into the wall and knocked himself out. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna make note of all these um, heads that are on plaques and hanging on the wall. It's randomized which one will go off. And I, I guess how many of them will go off? I, I believe up to five will go off. Like, um, I want to say this one upcoming, right over there. And gee, I wonder how I'm going to get that bonus book. Called it. <laughs> yeah, I knew that one was coming. That's where you. That's where you would have gotten the tutorial for the uh, bonus book. Here in the billiard room. <laughs> I love how the one skeleton over there is just through the funny ears. <laughs> ah, the door's open, so not all doors will trap you inside our room. It seems some uh, may walk straight through this one. And I mentioned, so uh, I may also rotate the camera with the left and right triggers. Doing so is highly recommended, as keeping all one's foes in sight. It's an obvious tactical advantage. Not only that, but you can just, um... It's also nice to just see, just, uh, see, your, just, just see your surroundings, that one painting that I mentioned. Over here, we got another bonus book. This isn't necessary unless you're going 100%, but here we got skeletons. Not only are they... Boxers, I guess, apparently. But these guys can also grab various weapons around the um, room as well and use them against you. That's like kind of the one annoying thing about them, but um, otherwise... Not really all that bad, especially um, in individual capacity. But in groups, they can be really mean. But let's pass through here and see what fate has in store for us. Also, is it just me, or does this music sound like it could fit in very well with um, Donkey Kong 64? And there's our pal. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. Oh, yes. Because why not? Oh, cripes, I think the cinema is on the other side of that wall. So I can reach it by going back to the billiard room, I believe. You're not gonna let me kill those amps, really? By no, sir, it seems to be locked in again, which means it's challenge time once more. I guess apparently challenge time is kind of like hero time for those of you who play Shrek 2. <laughs> the key, economy, yeah, you gotta find the key, which is in various rare items. <laughs> I see what you did there. 
First, I want to take all these M's. Like, yep, there are going to be more M's just spawning in. Are you? Out of my house! <laughs> That's another way you can just ultimately kill ghoulies, is that if there's a window nearby, you can just toss them straight out of the window. It's pretty much insta kill for any ghoulie, ghoulie you manage to throw outside the window, and yeah, ignoring the obvious elephant in the room here. We just unboxed an Xbox. That This Xbox well, box is always going to have the key inside it, Yay! so very classy that the key is inside an Xbox box. Or the box of an Xbox. I'm just going to stop now. This game, I, this game was actually originally released the Xbox, Xbox 360. Personally, it feels it's kind of a shame because I feel this game would have done Nintendo a wealth of favors. And this jerk, think you're doing well, eh? Let's see how well you cope with having your maximum energy interfered with. In fact, I do believe I shall tinker with your tinker in every room from now on. I'm so dastardly, yes I am. <laughs> yeah, every time you enter a room from now on, you will have a different set of max HP. Yeah, whether yeah. it's higher than what you had before or lower than what you had before, it will change quite often, making what normally would be not so difficult rooms pretty challenging. Here you go again. Okay, so that's right there. We gotta break some bones, as Kriven said. There's a certain amount of ghoulie that we need to smash before we can go to that next room. I realize I could have said that a whole lot better given what implication Smash has apparently um, received. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. What is it with people and sexualizing pretty much every word in the English language? I don't get it. It's like, why does every word need to be sexualized? Like, what? Is Billiards... Does Billiard have some kind of sexual connotation that I'm n unaware of? Does bomb somehow have a um, sexual connotation I I'm not aware of? How about the word gun? How about sword? Actually, yeah, that kind of does. How about keys? How about batteries? Seriously, how far will this go? Uh, it's, it really bothers me that people have to apply sexual um, connotation to every word. But mini rant aside, that right there is a super weapon. It's only one use and... Basically, weapons like this, you can swing around and kill every ghoulie that's around it. Like, you want to really, really use those weapons strategically, as they are single use. And that right there! That right there is very, very useful. Alright, the coast is clear, sir. We'll find the cinema room just along this corridor. That right there! Is a soup can. Each soup can will have various effects. We'll get into more as we see them, but this one gives us one energy boost. And it's created by someone mi called Miss Soupwell. We'll be meet I'm sure we'll be meeting her soon. And oh, that! Krevins, take it away. So I was suffering a bit of a scare. If it happens again, try to avoid the effect before it gets you. So we'll take twice as much damage if hit when he's been scared. And not just that, but what Krevins didn't explain is it'll actually slow you down quite a bit and you're scared. So it's especially bad since you take double damage that you can't move nearly as fast as it is harder to actually avoid getting hit. Alright, there's a spider. It'll attack by doing a kind of roll, but if you can do that other thing, because I know you do something else. Come on, please do it. 
Come on, can you please do that thing? Come on. Come on, I'm leaving you alone so you can actually do it. Okay, fine, whatever. What I was trying to show right there is that um, these spiders can actually um, spit up some webs that will make it harder for you to move around if you get within it. I just gotta knock those guys out, and here's the book over here. Also, check these guys out. They're dancing in the groove! There's some epic music in the other room! Last, we reach the cinema. But, I think we've made enough progress for now. We've gotten through a few challenges, and yeah. Next time on Let's Play Grab of the Ghoulies, we'll see if we can actually reach Amber, which is the girl's name, Amber. See you guys then.